non-compete clauses in a contract. What are they and how do they work? Well, stick around and I'll tell you. Hi, I'm Simon from The Contract Company. Contracts for Australian businesses, that's what we do all day, every day, and sometimes overnight. Lucky us. What are non-compete clauses and how do they work? Well, a non-compete clause is a contractual clause that parties agree to where one party agrees not to do certain things in the future. Let's use an easy example. Uh, let's say you as an employer run a software development business and you hire a gun software developer. You may want to try and restrain or stop that software developer from using knowledge and skills that they gain working for you with someone else. So in other words, let's say um, they're developing a banking application. You may want to stop them using those skills that they've developed in relation to that banking application with other businesses in the future. So non-compete clauses usually have two elements. Usually there's a component that stops them or restrains them from being engaged with businesses who are the same as your business. And the second element usually is they have what's called like a non-solicitation clause, which basically says that they won't try and poach your current staff or staff that um, have been engaged in the business for say a year. And they won't also try and poach your current clients. So that's usually what they have, two components, stop them doing certain things in the future. Secondly, stop them poaching or stealing your clients or your employees. Now the issue with non-compete clauses are, you'd be thinking maybe, oh great, we'll stitch everyone up with a non-compete clause. It doesn't work like that. If your clause is too unreasonable, then it'll be found to be invalid. So the real skill with non-compete clauses is to make them sufficiently broad to protect you, but not too broad to be invalid. So in other words, uh, well, the things that they take into account when determining if it's too broad is the geographic area. So are you trying to stop someone in all of Australia or just New South Wales or just Sydney? What is the restrained conduct? How broad is that defined? And are you, or have you specified, say, the restrained businesses that they can't be involved with? So the broader the clause is, the better it sounds for the employer, but the more likely they are to be invalid. So you've got to be very careful with them. Anyway, that's the quick and dirty on non-compete clauses. I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Simon at contractcompany.com.au, 1-800-355-455.